U.S. on the verge, it seems now, of a trade deal with Mexico. This according to a top advisor to President Trump. Will Canada be next? What about China? Kayla Tausche is uh, tracking the latest on trade. Kayla. Hey, Ty, the White House chief economist Kevin Hassan is just the latest to tout a forthcoming deal with Mexico. But the White House doesn't actually have approval from Congress to do a bilateral deal. So as Hassett notes, it most likely will have to pave the way for a broader NAFTA deal. Well, I think that what's going to happen after uh, we close the Mexico deal is that Canada is going to look at it and see some stuff they like and maybe some stuff they want to modify. But it's going to make it a lot easier to make a deal with Canada because we got to deal with Mexico. Elsewhere on the trade front today, senior EU trade officials are in Washington trying to flesh out that July 25th trade deal. But the big, big focus is midweek when China's vice minister of commerce will lead a delegation to Washington. Those talks build as a precursor to calm the waters ahead of a potential November bilateral between President Trump and President Xi at APEC and or at the G20. This even as Washington is keeping up its guard against China. Sources say the White House will host members of Congress on Thursday to tout the newly stronger CFIUS requirements. And the U.S. is hosting Japan and the EU on Friday to discuss how to challenge China at the World Trade Organization. And then tariffs on $16 billion in Chinese exports may still go into effect on Thursday. We'll see. One goal of China this week? To take the administration's temperature and see what's changed in the last few months, though there are few indications, Michelle, of cooling just yet.